So you want to be a front-end engineer at Google? Go to frontendexpert.io. Now that's a great way to market your product. What's up everyone, welcome to another video. And today I'm bringing you another interesting topic, which is frontendexpert.io. And this is another product. It's like another sideline product to Algo Expert. And it is meant for all the frontend engineers out there who are struggling to do their interviews, who may be struggling to prep for their interviews. And it's meant to help you with that. And today I'll be going over the product in depth and I'll be providing some of my insight on whether this product is really beneficial, whether it covers all of the topics or maybe be some topics that are very very crucial for your front-end interviews and in general I'll be just sharing from my own personal front-end interview experiences because I have personally interviewed a lot for front-end roles I you know did my front-end engineering internship at Facebook and even for my full-time roles I applied a lot for front-end positions so I think that I might be in a good position to you know really commentate over this product and whether it's good for you to prepare for your front-end interviews so let's just start off with you know talking about the pricing of this product and how much it will cost you. So as we can see over here, I'm on the purchase page and we can see that Algo Expert is being offered for $39 over here. If you go to front end expert, we can see that it's being offered for $39 alone if you buy only the single product, but you can buy the front end interview bundle, which is for $62. And this will also come with the Algo Expert. And I would really suggest you that if you're going to buy a front end expert, then you should buy Algo Expert. If you're not buying Algo Expert or if you're like satisfied with your lead code or whatever platform that, that you're using, then I would suggest that you stick with that platform. But then again, I have made a video where I go over Algo Expert versus lead code in detail, and you can check that out as well. I'm just saying that on a side note, front end interviews do not mean that you only have to prepare for your front end interviews. It will also mean that you'll also have to focus on your lead code questions or your Algo Expert questions. And those type of questions might be asked. So in a typical front end interview, you are going to be be assessed on both of these things so you will be assessed on your front-end uh, skills as well as well as your problem-solving skills so as they say that a front-end engineer is a software engineer first so be mindful of that while preparing for your interviews so let's just dive right into the product and I'll open up my platform over here so you guys can see that I have front-end expert and there's a bunch of sections over here which is pretty interesting so you have the front-end interview questions you have an HTML crash course you have a CSS crash course and a JavaScript crash course. You have React as well, which is good because in a lot of front-end interviews, you are going to be assessed on React. Not in all of the interviews. It will really depend on the company that you're interviewing for. For example, at my Facebook interview, I was only required to know HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And that was the only thing. There was no React involved, even though it is interesting that Facebook is the one who made React, but they didn't really assess you on it. So that is something that you might want to keep in mind. And there are web dev fundamentals, which is also interesting. And then there's a quiz section so you have a quite a lot of things that comes with this product and this is interesting and if I go to front-end interview questions there are 35 interview questions available right now so while there are 35 questions available right now when you're watching this video there might be more available because the team that is the front-end expert IO team they're working on putting more questions into the platform so for the questions you can see that they have divided it into categories there are JavaScript questions there are DOM manipulation questions, CSS, HTML, and there are even some React components which are covered over here. So this is really nice. I think that they have divided it into like ample sections or like good sections so that you have a bunch of practice on all of the fundamental topics that are required for your front end interviews. So we can see over here that there's like a blog post in HTML. And if you open that up, we can see that there's the prompt given over here. Apart from the prompt, you have like the solution. So you're basically required to write your HTML over here and we can see that inside of the solutions there's like the solution totally consists of HTML so this is really nice and you can also see your browser out output over here so they have a section where they show you your browser output so right now it looks like plain text but as you're gonna add your HTML it's gonna change for you accordingly so I think that this is really cool this is something which I haven't really seen you know in other platforms and I think that this is interesting in how it works even though I haven't used it and similar to Algo Expert we have the video 
explanation over here so you can also watch that and it's a nice 10 minute explanation so for css there's also like similar kind you have playground over here for code that you can write for your css you have the browser output which is totally plain right now and as you're writing your css it's going to change for you accordingly so i think that this is pretty neat it will give you a bunch of practice over some of the fundamental concepts that you need to learn the solution and the video explanation will also provide you with you know something to back up or to fall back on if you're you're really stuck on the question and this is pretty neat i would say for javascript i'm really surprised that you have only eight questions because javascript is the most tested thing in a front-end interview so either it's gonna be a lot of react or a lot of javascript so i don't think that you need to be really really good at html or css to crack your front-end interviews but you need to be really good at javascript and i can see a few interesting topics over here i can see debouncing i've made a video on this for javascript i can see throttling i've also made a video on this as well there are some good topics over here but then again i would suggest not to completely rely on this there are definitely more topics that you need to learn you need to be able to you know learn the difference between maybe like call apply and bind and i know that they have like made a, a question over here but there is then the concept of prototypal inheritance and there are like several other topics there's hoisting there's closures there are a lot of things that you need to learn in javascript for the interviews and i think that this is something that i'll make a separate video on where i'll go over some of the essential topics that you need to crack your front-end interviews but if i were you i definitely would not really rely on just these eight questions to be be sure that you know I'm now good at JavaScript. You need to be searching a lot. You need to be searching a lot of topics on the internet, on YouTube, whatever platform you like. And you need to really master these JavaScript questions. There are like a lot of things. They're like event emitters. You need to learn event emitters and you need to be able to build an event emitter as well from scratch. So things like this and then like DOM trees, I can see like DOM manipulation. So this is also like good. But then again, 35 questions for like cracking your interviews. Like I would say it is good practice, but then again, don't rely on it because just doing eight JavaScript questions wouldn't make you an expert in JavaScript. If I were to say like, maybe is it covering all the concepts for a front-end interview? I wouldn't say yes, but then again, it is helpful because it provides like one platform where you have all these questions and all these topics that are being covered. So yeah, it's not that bad, but then again, you need to be able to rely on other resources as well if you want to be able to crack the interview. And they might even add more questions in the future. So maybe by the time you're watching this video, there are maybe like 20 or 30 questions on JavaScript and more topics covered. Just keep this in mind. So for the other part, there's the HTML crash course and let's just check that out. And we can see that it has, you know, the basics covered. So this is definitely meant for someone who's maybe looking to revise or to learn the basics from scratch. I think that it goes over a bunch of topics that are like good for your interviews because HTML is not going to be tested a lot on your interviews, I would say comparatively. You just need to be able to know like some of the basic tags and that is mostly covered within the sections and you know I really like this that they have key terms so this is really helpful that if you're watching a video and you need to search up a key term or want to learn about that they even have like these these breaks in between their videos where you can like search by topic right and this is good because if you want to learn a key term then you can just go to that part of the video and learn that and if you move on to like the CSS crash course I think that it's uh, pretty similar as well we have all of these things and this is really good this is in detail I would say and they they're going over responsive design, CSS grids, Flexbox. So in most front-end interviews, you would need to be able to position things. You need to be able to position your elements. That is the most important thing, right? In in any interview, I would say. Like in a front-end interview, the, the most that they're gonna ask you to do is basically, let's say that you have a bunch of cards and you need to be able to, you know, assign them into a row or display them like maybe Netflix displays their movies, right? Flexbox or CSS grids is gonna help you with that. Learn positioning, learn the difference between you know absolute positioning and relative positioning and stuff like that and you're gonna be good to go i would say i don't think that you would require a lot of advanced css in your front-end interviews especially if this is for new grad positions or like internships it's definitely not going to be tested in that much detail but i think that this crash course is like really good it goes over like the bunch the essentials that are really really tested in an interview and you know it's the similar thing like the key terms i really like that uh you know it goes over the key terms and you can also so like switch or jump 
jump in between the key terms in the video as well. It's like really good. And I really like this aspect, you know, about front end expert right now is that, and in general about front end is that while you're learning, you're also learning about the job or what you're going to be doing. Because in algo expert, maybe it's not the same case because you're learning to problem solve. But let's be true to ourselves. Like who's going to be doing a reversal of a linked list while on their job, right? I mean, maybe you are, but in most general cases, you aren't going to be doing that. But in front end interviews, it's really different because what you're going to be learning for the interview is going to be applied in your real life skills as well. So I think that this is really a fun aspect of preparing for your front end interviews because it is going to make you more knowledgeable in the field as well. It's going to give you more grip. So even if I'm viewing these crash courses, right? Like these are appealing to me as well. Like I might want to watch it because some of the things that are being said in this, I might not have known or I it may be like additional knowledge to me. So I like that they have crash courses over here. It makes the learning interesting as well. And they have a JavaScript crash course as well. And it goes over like, you know, some of the topics that I've been talking about, like closures and currying and classes and the this keyword. These are like some important into topics and, you know, like promises, especially like async programming in general is going to be very important for your front end interviews. I would say that you should know the difference between callbacks, promises and async await. They're basically, you know, used in the same situation. Like promises is a modern way to maybe like handle callbacks and then async await is an, another more modern way to handle promises as well. So just make sure that you know the difference between this. Make sure that you know how JavaScript works, like the event loop, I would say. I think that this really goes into detail of like some JavaScript topics that are like heavily tested in the interview. And I really like it because you're not only covering the interview, but you're also gaining a lot of real life knowledge about JavaScript or a lot of knowledge about what you're going to be doing. And this could be useful for beginners because this might make or break your interest and you might be sure whether you, you really like this or not. Because by learning JavaScript, like some people might find it tough, but in the end, if you understand it, I think that it's a wonderful language to interview in and it's in general. I personally always interviewed in JavaScript, even for my STE roles as well. So we have the React crash course as well. So yeah, so then again, I'm being a little repetitive right now, but you can see that there are some basics that are being covered throughout this. And this is really meant for beginners, I would say, or someone who's revising. But I really like that they added this element into, you know, their product offering. And this is my favorite section, I would say. They're providing you the web development fundamentals. This is really cool or this is really useful because in general, like, like, you know, if you're interested in front end development or like web development in general, you want to learn more. You want to be able to talk or have a conversation with your interviewer and things like these, like when you know these, you're going to be able to gain a lot of confidence in yourself because you know some of the fundamental web development concepts and how the web works and how everything in general works. So you're going to be able to have a conversation with your interviewer. It, it is not going to feel like an interview. You're going to be able to show that you're interested by talking about these topics. And I think that this is a trick that I did for myself is whenever I was in an interview, by the end of the interview, I would just let the interview know that I'm really interested in this in this field in general. And I love learning about it. And you know, I was learning this, just talk about the topics. I was learning maybe the client server model or maybe like web security. You can add in that pin bunch of interest in that interview and just show that, you know, you're really interested to learn more about the job. You're interested and you're going to be learning more and you're only moving forward from this direction. So I really hope that this video provided you a bunch of insight into how Frontend Expert is as a product and what it has to offer. I would generally say in conclusion that, you know, Frontend Expert, it doesn't have all of the questions that are necessary to maybe like fully feel prepared for your interviews. It is a good product in the sense that it covers a lot of things. It has a lot of crash courses on like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, and React. And it, it covers a lot of good topics, topics that are covered within interviews, especially within the crash course right within the javascript crash course you have a lot of topics that are being covered that are going to be asked within an interview but then again the questions not necessarily they aren't covering all the topics so there are like eight questions and how can you really feel prepared for the interview by just doing eight questions right so it is something which can be really helpful while you're preparing because it gives you like an overall package i would say but then again i wouldn't say that you should rely completely on it for your front-end interviews because i would say that javascript is the most heavily tested component in a front an interview in general if you're interning if you're like doing it for an internship or if you're applying for like new grad positions i do not know whether about senior roles it is true or not like what is 
asked or what is required for you to know but i'm just commenting about the new grad roles and the internships roles and in general they're going to be very very javascript heavy so i would suggest that doing more than eight questions would be a good idea and just practice a lot of javascript and html css i would say like whatever the crash course is providing within front-end expert like that should be enough for you to know from what i've seen and they don't go in much detail for html and css it is mostly going to be javascript or react which is going to be the most tested. I hope you found this video to be insightful and you enjoyed it. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments section down below if you have any, you know, suggestions for me or if you have any questions for me. And yep, see you guys in the next video.